Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a walk cycle just like this one in Open Tunes. Thank you to Piano Keys on YouTube for leaving me a comment and requesting this tutorial. If you guys have any other tutorial ideas, please leave them in the description. Now, first, when you make a walk cycle, we want to focus on two key poses. Now, I'm going to pull up a picture from the Animator Survival Kit. Very good book. I recommend getting it. It breaks down the walk cycle very easily. It's kind of a famous picture. You'll see it on a lot on the internet. So basically, what the picture shows is the basic poses of a walk. And the two poses that I'm going to start off with are the extremes. Now, I'm going to create a frame here by drawing. There you go, just make that there. It's a little bit of lag, it always happens like that when you make a frame. And so I'm gonna start with drawing the head. And the two extremes are basically the poses that the person that is walking is going to be touching the ground with their feet. Um, on all the poses, they're gonna be touching the ground, but the, they're more called the contact poses where the foot is flat on the, well, the front foot is flat on the ground at least. So I'm just gonna try and draw a body. See if I can get this right. Um, we're gonna make this arm go back, but we'll focus on that later. A little waist. Then we're gonna make the first contact pose is gonna be where this person's foot is kind of like this. And this actually is not called the contact pose. I don't know why I said that. the contact pose is actually something we're gonna get into later in the video. But this is the first key pose that we're gonna be focusing on. I'm just gonna turn the body up a little bit like this so we can have them a little more a little more jolly and then the back leg is going to be bent slightly um, kind of like this and then it's going to be touching the ground kind of like that there we go so a little bit cartoony I'm gonna bring this leg up so we make sure that the ground is very consistent one thing that I did and this is actually my third time recording this tutorial I had a little bit of technical difficulty with this <laughs> but one thing I did is that um, that I didn't do in the last ones is that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to make a ground so I'm going to make a new frame I'm going to erase this long line that was created and I'm going to go actually I'm going to make a new column and we're going to go right here then I'm going to draw I'm going to use the this tool to draw a very straight line a little bit higher than that kind of like this let's see if we can get it on the bottom of the feet there we go all right so now now that we have our ground, we know exactly where to go. And I'm going to actually connect this waist to the body. And the arms in this are going to be opposite of the leg. So the front arm and the front um, leg are going to be opposites. So that means that the back arm is going to be going with the front leg. And the front, front arm is going to be going with the back leg, which is always how walk cycles go. Now we're going to go on to the other extreme. The other extreme is just going to be the opposite of this, where the back leg is going to be facing front. So we're going to start by drawing the head. I'm going to turn the onion skin once more. Drawing the head a little bit. Turn my smoothness a little bit so we can get some nicer lines. Draw the torso. And they're all going to be in the same place because these are both extremes. Um, and then we're going to draw the back leg doing this. So I'm just going to draw the front leg overlaying that first. We can just draw sort of the same thing kind of cheat a little bit it's okay and then draw this is going to shade this in because it's a back leg shading it in will help you when you don't know exactly where you're going and you make very messy sketches like i do so we're going to make this front arm kind of the ball will kind of move the kind of ball i made for the shoulder will kind of move with the arms so it's okay if you put it forward because that's actually what happens in real life that you actually twist while you do a walk so now we have our two extremes which is very good now we're gonna i'm gonna drag this ground out a little bit more there we go and okay so now we have our two extremes now we want to make the in-between of that which is basically going to make our walk cycle and the total of this of drawings we're going to make in here is six so what we're going to do now i'm going to draw and it's going to make the in-between in this in-between the character is going to go slightly up because the legs not the one of the legs let's see the front leg is not going to be bent because it's going back and so it's gonna, the character's gonna raise up a little bit, so I'm gonna just draw the neck. And what we wanna do there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it first and then I'm gonna raise it after. As for the arms, the arms are going to be in a neutral position, so they're kinda in the middle of the circle. I'm gonna try to get this as accurate as I can to make it the same as the other ones. And let me put a frame above to, uh, head too, so we can actually see where that middle part is 
for our shoulder to go. Let's go right here. Perfect. And then we're going to draw the waist in the same place. And it's okay. So what we're going to do right now is going to, I'm going to draw this going, the front leg going completely down and then kind of through this block because we're going to raise it up after we draw. That's usually what I do when I make walks and it just makes it so much easier. And then we're going to make the back leg still bent, but going kind of like this. And the back will be there. There's a motorcycle going by pretty fast. Okay. I'm actually going to make it a little bit, a little bit longer so it stays consistent with the other frames. Kind of like this. There we go. And that'll do it. And then we can shade out the back one so we can always see where exactly it is and in space and time. So the arms are going to be pretty neutral. They're going to be kind of in the next to this. I'm going to erase a little bit so you can see the arms bright and clear. One, one thing that's very important when you're animating is that you know what you're doing and you always label and make sure things are visible so you don't forget. So now we're going to raise this frame, circle it and raise it. So now this is basically our walk cycle. It's very, 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 very kind of, it's kind of crude, but it's this form is there. So there we go. And now two other frames that I want to make are the contact poses. Now I did say that the, the these, these keyframes were the contact poses and that's actually not true. So, um, the contact poses is when the, when the, the actually initial foot. So we see this is the front foot right here. And then the contact pose for this would be when this heel part right here would hit the floor. And so um, it's a little bit different than these, but it will make our walk cycle look very nice. So let's see. Maybe it actually is a total of five frames instead of um, the original six I said in the in the beginning. So I'm going to activate the onion skin. I'm going to take out this frame. And what we're going to draw is a frame that is in between the character getting lifted up. So I'm just going to copy this one a little bit. Um, and we're going to bring the head down. I usually don't move this one after the fact because I like to really see what I'm drawing and how I kind of like to adjust the height on this one. I'm not really sure why. Really no reason. You can you can do it like the way I did the other one, but this is just the way I like to make walk cycles. And I had so much practice because I've this video has failed to record at least three times. So um, I'm going to put the arm right in the middle here. It's going to be going like this. Make sure that the length is not compromised. The same with this one. It's going to be go like this. And then we're going to draw the waist in the middle here so we know where to draw our torso. And then, so since the back leg is going forward, we're going to draw it doing exactly what it's supposed to. We're going to draw it here, except for the heel is going to be pointed up like this. And the heel is going to be touching the ground. That's what the contact pose is, I believe. I could very much be wrong, um, but I sure hope I'm not. <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know if I already said this, but thank you to Piano Keys on YouTube. Um, it was very generous of him to leave us, to leave me a suggestion for an animation tutorial. And be sure to leave your, your guys' suggestions in the comments below, please, so I can know what to show you guys. A lot of times I don't make videos because I don't have any ideas. So if you guys have any ideas for videos, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. It would do me a real solid, and then I can provide you guys with some quality videos. Um, one of the things I wanted to get into doing was if you guys have something you want to learn how to how to animate like fire or something like that and since I'm still learning animator I could go out study learn it for you guys and then kind of bring you almost like an essay of what um, I've learned not an essay format I wouldn't just type it out and have all that boring stuff but I'll make it in a video format and I think that would really help you guys who are learning out there and it would help me learn because I'm still a very much I'm still a growing artist so I hope you guys I hope that idea sounds cool to you guys because it sure sounds cool to me. And so now we have one like this. And now we need to go back to this first frame like that. I actually forgot to draw the other version of the in-between. So let me draw that really quickly. Um, we're going to draw the head is going to be in the same place right here. Okay, like this. I was more organized in the other version of the tutorial, but... I hope you guys can kind of decipher what it is you're getting from this tutorial. Um, maybe I'll piece it up and make it in order. Okay. All right. So now we have that leg is 
This is actually supposed to be the back leg, I believe. Yep, this is going to be the back leg. And the front leg is going to be bent like this. Just like that. So I'm going to erase the back leg for now so we don't really see it. Something like that. There we go. And then we can go like this. See the full foot like that. Then we can shade out all the back legs so we know exactly where it is in space and time. Okay. And then we're going to raise the frame after. There we go. All right. So now we have a total of five frames of our animation. This in between, I should have done this before I did that, but that's okay. And the last one we're going to be doing is the front leg kicking. So actually, I, sh I really should have, we really should have six frames in the end. Um, so I'm going to draw, I'm just going to make it, make the in between of the other contact pose that we have. And then after that, we should be smooth sailing for our walk cycle. It's very, very easy and simple to make. So I'm going to draw that body. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to copy the torso here. And now I'm going to select it and drag it down. So it's easier for us to do. Make the socket of that right there. Arm is going. This might be the back arm, actually. This should be. The front arm should be going this way. I did make a mistake in that in one of the other recordings, and I could not figure out for the life of me what, what I had done. It's very, very important that us animators stay very organized in what we do so we don't get lost while we're working and lose time, because time is money, and no industry can say that better than animation. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put the foot up like this. Uh, maybe a little, a little bit more of a thing. There we go. I like that. And then these feet I'm drawing remind me of Dr. Seuss a lot. They very much do. The way that they're so flat. And I'm going to draw this like that. And this is going to come down and just be bent a little bit. Kind of like the foot before it. I mean, foot after it. Or whatever it is. Okay. Now we're just going to shade that in. And I think that should do it for our walk cycle, guys. Um, now I'm going to have to animate all, all the inconsistencies. As you can see, the leg got very thick in this frame. And now we're going to space these out. I'm going to select all of them and then hit reframe to fours. I'm going to drag our block out a little bit and we're going to... So that looks pretty good for a walk cycle without... Um, you can see the arms get a little shorter in some of them, but they, that looks pretty dang good. So that's pretty much how you do all the frames of the walk cycle. Now if you guys want to export, we can get to that. Um, I'm going to hit pause on this. We're going to go to file, output settings. You want to set your outputs folder. I'm just going to do the outputs folder for this project that I'm currently in. I'm going to put click this. I'm going to go to, I have three formats. I downloaded QuickTime, so I have MOV. I downloaded um, FFmpeg, so I have MP4. But most of you guys are just going to have AVI, so I'm just going to click AVI, and that's all you really have to do. Um, it does end at 24. You can always set the frame that it ends on. And 1080p, so let's see. We're going to click this, so we're going to click Render. Okay, so it just finished rendering. It kind of came all the way over here. Very nice. So, all right, let me let that save into the RAM really quickly. Um, one thing I did forget to do is set the background color. This color is only appearing white because it's like that in OpenTunes. What we're going to do is go to X sheet, go to scene settings, and we're going to hit the background color because for a lot of you, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be completely black when you view it in your, on your computer. So we're going to set the background color to white and hit this alpha button and drag it all the way up. So now it turns to from white from transparent. So this is the final product. We're going to have to re-render it actually. So you guys don't have a completely black screen. Um, so that's pretty much it for making the walk cycle. Very, very simple stuff. I've had so much practice because this video has been so hard to record. And I really hope that this time it will work. <laughs> I'm sure it will. So we're just going to wait for this to finish rendering. It's at 87. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Now we have our walk cycle perfectly rendered. I'm just going to save it into the RAM real quick by playing it. And there we go. So it looks pretty good. You can add more frames to make it smoother, but this is the basic walk cycle that you're going to get. Now, the really good thing about this is that once you make this, you guys basically never have to make a walk cycle ever again. Now, if you want to change the personality, of course, but you can always use the walk cycle that you made today as a point of reference. It's really, really cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your animation tutorial requests in the comment section so I can know what you guys want to see next. I do have a poll for you guys if you guys want to see videos in 720p 60 or 1080p 30 frames per second 
um, there's a poll that's going to come up right now because I really want to know what you guys prefer as video format. Personally, I I prefer 1080p, and so I guess I'm going to be have to be the final judge on that anyway. But thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.